Ah, it's so true. Bourbon should be celebrated. And you know who also sh who should be celebrated? Women, because ladies are continuing to break the glass ceiling in the bourbon industry. And here to talk a little bit more about the impact they have made is one of the co-founders of the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, Barbara Hirsch Napolitano, is back with me. Hello, hey. darling. Uh, hello. Good uh, morning. Yes, good morning. You know what's interesting? We're still in Women's History Month, so it's so cool that we're talking about this. And first, I want to ask you, what has the what has been the role of women in the distilling industry and a little bit of their impact? Well, you know, women have been involved in the distilling industry for a very long time, but it's just been recently, I think, that women have sort of taken a more prominent role. They become master distillers, they become master blenders, master tasters. And, you know, women, believe it or not, this is a scientific fact, at least in my mind, um, they have more olfactory senses. So ah. we smell a little better than men do. So I think that gives us a more discerning palate, which makes us more valuable in this industry. Come on, being valuable. I completely agree. And if you all were watching a little bit earlier, you gave us some tips on how to judge a good bourbon. And you right. said to sniff it. That's one of the ways yes. to figure out if the bourbon is good or not. Right. I want to talk a little bit about the impact that they have made, because it's definitely been a big one. We actually have some visuals we want to show everybody. Take a look at your screen several of the people we're showing everybody mm -hmm. is actually going to be here at the bourbon festival right yes they are we um and from the very beginning we've always had a focus on women in bourbon because frankly we're we're also partially female run over here come so, on let them know you know i always said if we did this we were going to do a festival i would want to go to yes. and if i want to go i want to hear about women that are in this industry so we have victoria butler from uncle nearest we have um marianne e who is she is such a rock star in this industry I, I don't even know what to tell you about her she's she's just led the way and they are going to be here speaking and we do have a women's panel yes you do and I will tell you all of that and it's not just the women that are interested in the women it's the men that are interested in what they have to say because these women are are leading the way for those of us that love the spirit and you have to understand we just when we started I think 38 percent of the bourbon drinkers were women wow now we're probably closer to 50 50. come on we'll absolutely make it 51 percent because we need women like you said they have better senses of smell yes, we do. and you know there's so many things happening at the new orleans bourbon festival this year which i think is awesome can't wait to see all these women talk about their passion for the spirit speaking of the spirit there's a new event this year happening at sazerac house tell me a little bit about that because what's cool is that there was a storming of the sazerac event that actually happened where women would actually go there and they would drink on mardi gras day and now you all are hosting an event at sazerac house tell me a little bit about that yes we are it is a vip only event sorry people that um don't have that ticket but um um, we're basically, they're doing a tasting and it's a secret, so I'm not even allowed to <gasps> tell you what they are tasting, but I hear it's going to be pretty special and they have some special products and basically it's going to be go over, see the Sazerac house, which is just beautiful. And I, I have a feeling if people knew what they were serving, we might have a second storming of the Sazerac house. Okay. Uh, it could happen, but no, it's, it's a very um, select event um, for just the VIPs and I think it's going to be pretty special. So, oh for sure yeah. you saw a little bit of video of the event it looks very funny you're taking a look at all the information on your screen right now it's happening tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Sazerac House which is located at 101 Magazine Street. I want to go back to talking a little bit about the females. What do you see as the future for women in distilling? Do we see more becoming master blenders and distillers? Do we see maybe an all created by a female bourbon coming out soon what do you see as a colonel yourself I, yeah that's right colonel barbie as my husband calls me um <laughs> Actually, there already are a couple of all-female whiskeys. Um, there is um, Silverback, which is Christine Riggleman. She's usually here. Unfortunately, she didn't make it this year, but she actually has uh, Christine that she created and blended and everything else, which is the first of its kind from what I understand. But there are a couple now in the industry that are starting on their own and, and really leading the forefront. And I think where we're going to see it going is there will be an equal number of male and 
female master distiller. So true. And they're going to be women actually leading the the distilleries. I now, can't wait. Like Uncle Nearest. That's exactly with awesome. Fawn Weaver, who is going to be here. Oh no, she couldn't make it this year. We have Victoria Butler. Victoria this Butler. Year. Uncle Nearest will still be here. Which oh, is Uncle great. Nearest will be here. Barbara, thank you so much. Thank We're going to enjoy some of this bourbon during the commercial break. But before we go to the commercial break, everyone, let's head back over to Briquette to learn how to make another cocktail. Check it out. All right, today we're gonna to be making the warehouse cocktail made with the Uncle Nearest. I like to choose this one because the maple flavored, I think it goes well with the Grand Gala, the orange liqueur. So we're gonna take two ounces of the Uncle Nearest. Fun fact, Uncle Nearest is the guy who taught Jack Daniels how to distill. Okay, then we're gonna take an ounce of the Grand Gala, the orange liqueur, and then an ounce of the sweet vermouth. We're gonna add our ice, tumble it. Then we're gonna garnish it with a brandy soaked cherry and a lemon twist. Cheers. 